Dan and I had the house to ourselves this week. So we did spring cleaning and I decided to do a spiritual cleanse too. There are lots of ways to do this. I thought I would bring you along to show you how I did it. I'll share how I made a house cleansing and protection floor wash too. Coming up next. Welcome to the Witch's Studio. I am, of course, Mickey Mueller, author, illustrator, and witch, not necessarily in that order. And today we're going to raise the energy in my house with a house cleaning ritual. If this sounds like your cup of tea, then you should definitely hit the subscribe button so that you'll always know when I post a new spell or witchy tip. So my kid and their boyfriend went on a trip this week and I decided to take the opportunity to get things in order around here at home. I really love how it feels when everything is relatively neat and while I'm not the kind of person who needs to have everything perfect, you can really tell when a home is spiritually cleansed. Yeah, I'm always gonna have some clutter around, but there's nothing like that feeling when everything is reorganized a bit dusted, vacuumed, and spiritually cleansed and blessed. That's a ritual that I don't perform all the time, but sometimes I'll just do a quick smoke cleanse or I'll pop around the house ringing some bells or just play some house cleansing music on my devices. And I basically do that as spiritual maintenance, but a few times a year I like to do a big deep clean of everything followed with a full cleansing ritual. You can usually tell when your home needs it. I usually notice when the energy of the house is a little bit off because people start to get a little cranky and out of sorts much more easily than usual. Sometimes things will happen like several light bulbs going out one after another. Things start to break or clog or people be having a long string of nightmares can also be a sign that your house might need ritual cleaning. When that happens, there's nothing to freak out about. Sometimes unwanted energy collects and gets stagnant, just like dust or cat fur. Nothing to worry about, it's an easy fix. You might also feel more tired than usual when you're at home, even to the point of feeling a little bit stuck. When it's hard to pry yourself out the door and run errands, and then you find yourself coming up with any excuse while you're out not to go back home, it's probably a pretty good sign that it's time to cleanse. A house cleansing ritual doesn't have to be a big formal thing. You don't have to do it exactly the same way every time. I certainly don't. I like to change things up a little bit, you know, do things in a different order. I'll add extra steps or I'll leave some out as the mood strikes me or depending on what supplies I have on hand. It's your house, it's your space. So you don't have to do anything other than how you feel inspired to do it. The way I did it the last time isn't exactly the same as how I'm doing it in this video and probably won't be the same way that I'll do it the next time either. I'll show you how I'm doing it this time and that will include some tried and true methods for doing a house cleansing ritual and you can adjust them to fit your space and your lifestyle and tradition and also the supplies you have on hand. And yes, because I'm a practical witch at heart, this is going to be done with all the supplies that I already have around the house. The first thing I did was a short meditation for grounding and centering, just to get my head in the right space. Being grateful and positive is the energy that you wanna radiate while you're doing a house cleansing ritual. Some people even like to do a ritual bath beforehand it's really whatever practice speaks to your soul. So let's get started on getting the vibe right in my house. So the first thing that you want to do is you need to physically clean your house. Get everything in nice order. Make sure you pet the dog. And there's always those areas where clutter just collects. So clear those areas off. Make everything nice and neat and clean because you have to start with a clean slate. Unwanted energy can lurk in clutter. 
So it's really important that you make sure everything is in nice, neat order and dust everything because unwanted energy also lurks in dust. Energies tend to linger in mirrors also, so don't forget those mirrors. I use a mirror purifier, which is half water and half vinegar, or if you prefer to use half water and half herbal infusion, I have a formula that I wrote about in the witch's mirror, which I will share here. Now we sweep away dirt and negativity from our floors. Okay, if I'm honest here, the floor was swept before this video. I just couldn't bring myself to subject you to the stupid amounts of dog hair in every corner. Really, there's enough to make another dog Ooh. super gross. Also, while I do go through the house sweeping as part of my cleansing ritual, the gritty work of mundane sweeping usually falls to Dan, who frankly does a really good job of getting every square inch clean, much better than I usually do. So when caring for a household, we should all play to our strengths. In some traditions, the spiritual sweeping should be done from one direction of the house to another. Some people believe in going east to west. That can be complicated depending on where your doors are situated. Some people believe that it's proper to sweep from the front door to the back door. Some people believe that it's proper to sweep from the back door to the front door. It just depends on your tradition and your intention when you're doing it. So if you see that different people are doing it different ways, you get to decide which one makes sense to you and just do it that way. As long as your intention is there, it's going to work. Also, while we're talking about brooms, besoms, and the traditions that are surrounding them. There's a great book written by Deborah Blake and illustrated by Little O' Me. So if you wanna know more about this particular magical tool, definitely check that book out. I will put a link to that in the description below. Lots of people do the physical and spiritual cleaning at the same time using a regular broom. That is perfectly okay. As you sweep, just visualize all of the energy you don't want there being swept out of your home. If you're using a fancy besom after the physical cleaning and you want to, you can actually hover it above the ground. And again, you just do this with the intention that the besom is sweeping away anything that you don't want. Now I'm gonna show you how I made a magical floor wash. As you can see, I filled the little container up just about halfway with just tap water. And then I decided to add some moon water because I had some at home. If you want to use sun water instead, you certainly can. Next, I added white vinegar because vinegar is really good for physical cleaning, but it's also excellent and has many uses in folklore practices for spiritual cleaning as well. I usually use the juice of half of a lemon, but this lemon was just about the size of a lime, so I decided to use the whole thing. I used to have a nice glass juicer, but it broke, as things sometimes do. But here is a great solution for juicing a lemon or a lime is just use a big spoon and just put it in there and just twist it around and it gets all of the juice out. Then I scooped out the pips and as much of the pulp as I could just to make it easier to strain because I'm going to grab a coffee filter and pop it into my container. This is my favorite go-to, you guys. Basically, you don't wanna leave pulp all over your floor when you mop, and if you use one of the mops like I have, the squirty mop, squirty mop, then it'll just gum up the works of your sprayer. Next, I'm gonna add a few essential oils, one drop, of clove oil because a little goes a long way. I've got frankincense. I'm going to add three drops of each of the rest. Three drops of lavender and three drops of sweet orange. All three of these oils are good for cleansing but also for protection so you can pick whatever kind you have on hand that you like for that. There's a ton of different ones. You don't have to use the exact same ones that I had. A mix like this can also be put right into a mop bucket if you use a different kind of mop. I have reusable pads for my mop and I used a brand new one right out of the laundry and just mix that up and pop it right in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and charge that with energy. Just enchant it with my intention that it will cleanse, purify, and protect my space. Easy. Ready to mop. 
as I mop, I think about the space being clean. I just think about how I want the space to feel and I put that intention into the mopping that I'm doing. You can chant if you want, you can play music, you can dance, whatever boosts the energy. Sound is a really powerful way to adjust the energy of your space. I'm using my Ting Sha bells. Sometimes I'll use music specified to energy clearing and sometimes I just use music that I love. I'm using an incense stick to do some smoke clearing. You can also use any kind of smoke that you like. Again, it's about using your will and intention as you spread the smoke around. Make sure you get every corner, every room in your house and do it with intention that it clears away anything you don't want. I decided that I also wanted to follow the smoke up with some of my homemade Florida water, which I have in another video how to make that. And you can just check that up right there at the top. It's got a great vibe and it smells fantastic, so it's a win. Make sure you get all the rooms and all the surfaces. Last but not least, I'm going to follow it up with my House Blessing Witch's Glass spell that is in my book, The Witch's Mirror. I use a white candle that's anointed with frankincense and sandalwood oil, and I place it in a faux mercury glass holder to reflect good intentions and blessings all around the house. I made this one myself, and I tell you how to do that in my book, The Witch's Mirror but a store-bought mercury glass candle holder works just as well. Place it in the heart of your home and you can empower it with this incantation. Witch's glass, I empower, mirror shine, light divine, shadows cower. At some point during your house cleansing ritual, you might want to open your windows and doors. This can be a beautiful symbol of releasing the energies that no longer serve you. A little breeze blowing through your house can also feel wonderful and feels like it just clears everything away and helps you to start fresh. When our world travelers returned, they noticed immediately when they walked into the house the shift that had happened. And that is nice confirmation for me that the work of energy clearing is definitely worthwhile. There are other methods that I did not show here. For instance, I don't have any carpet in my house, but if you do, you might want to make up some carpet powder. I used to mix salt, baking soda, and finely ground rosemary for a basic powder, but you can add herbs for any magical purpose. Sprinkle it onto your carpet, allow that powder to sit for a few minutes to absorb any unwanted energy, and vacuum it up with intention. You might also want to follow up your cleansing ritual by warding your home to seal in all that good energy that you worked so hard on and seal out any astral nasties that might be passing by your home. I have a video with some great ways to ward your home right up here. I'm so glad that you joined me for this house cleansing ritual. Maybe you'll be inspired to add a few of these elements to your own spring cleaning. What's your favorite tip for spiritually cleaning your home? Drop it in the comments to share it with our community. And while you're down there, make sure that you read some of the ideas that other people share too. There's always lots of good communication going on down there. Don't forget to share this video with your witchy friends. They will thank you for it. And if you haven't already, make sure that you're subscribed and cast your spell on the notification bell so that you will magically know as soon as I upload a new video. Thanks again for visiting me here and joining me in this ritual. I have a few more videos here that you might enjoy and I will see you next time. Until then, stay safe, happy, and healthy. And remember to always be your magic. Bye, everybody.